हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो सेशन ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग सब्जेक्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन हीट पंप सो वी विल सी फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल डिटरमाइन इफ अ ट्रे ऑफ आइस क्यूब कुड रिमेन फ्रोजन वेन प्लेस्ड इन फूड फ्रीजर हैविंग सी ओ पी ऑफ नाइन ऑपरेटिंग इन अ रूम where the temperature is 32 assuming that the refrigerator operates on carnot cycle so already we had studied cop of carnot cycle so cop of carnot cycle is here tl upon th minus tl or 1 upon th minus th upon tl minus 1 so solving for tl we have to determine the temperature of ice that can remain in frozen state so solving just rearranging this equation so tl is equal to th upon 1 upon cop plus 1 so what is given here cop of refrigerator is given and temperature is given maximum temperature th highest temperature 32 is given so convert it in kelvin So thirty two plus two seventy three, it comes to be three zero five. So T H is equal to three zero five upon one upon nine plus one. So T L is equal to two seventy four point five Kelvin. If you observe carefully, or if you subtract two seventy three from it, here it is greater than zero degree centigrade, and ice cube will not remain frozen because over 0 degree centigrade it will be converted into water so next numerical here a heat pump provides 30000 btu per hour to maintain a dwelling at 68 degree fahrenheit on a day when the outside temperature is 35 degree fahrenheit the power input to pump is 1 hp if electricity cost 8 cents per kilowatt hour compare the actual operating cost per day with the minimum theoretical operating cost per day so what is given here the cost is given cost is equal to 0.08 it's 8 cent means 8% of w net right so 8% means 0.08 w net and for the actual cost we have actual cost is equal to 0.08 into its capacity is 1 hp converted in kilowatt that is 1 hp is equal to 0.745 kilowatt into 24 hours per day which will be equal to 1.43 dollars it is in dollars to calculate the minimum cost we will allow the heat pump to operate as a cause as a carnot cycle so cop of carnot cycle is equal to same formula that we had studied cop of carnot cycle is equal to 1 upon 1 minus tl upon th just rearranging equation so 1 upon 1 minus so tl is given th is given convert it in kelvin it is given in fahrenheit so convert it in kelvin directly or first convert in degree centigrade and you can convert it in kelvin so cop of carnot cycle is equal to 16 then the minimum possible power input is given as w net is equal to that is net work is equal to qh upon cop of carnot cycle which comes to be 30000 divided by 16 why this 30000 is taken because it is given a heat pump provides 30000 btu btu means british thermal units per hour so 30 divided by 60 it comes to be 1875 british thermal units per hour and in kilowatt which will be equal to 0.5495 kilowatt and the minimum cost is minimum cost is equal to 0.08 into w net and the value of w net is 0.5495 kilowatt 
into 24 hours per day so 0 0.08 into 0 0.5495 into 24 which comes to be 1.06 dollar so in this way we have to solve numerical based on heat pump so next question carnot refrigeration cycle absorb heat at 270 degree kelvin and rejects heat at 300 degree kelvin so question one is given as calculate the coefficient of performance of refrigeration cycle second question if the cycle is absorbing 1130 kilojoule per minute at 270 kelvin how many kilojoule of work is required per second and third question if the carnot heat pump operates between the same temperature as the above refrigeration cycle what is the coefficient of performance so what is given t1 is given t2 is given right t1 is 270 degree kelvin and t2 is that is tl and th is given so coefficient of performance of carnot refrigeration cycle is given as cop of refrigerator is equal to tl upon th minus tl which is equal to 270 upon 300 which is the highest temperature 300 minus 270 which comes to be 9 cop of refrigerator is 9 this is the answer of first question second work required per second so work required per second is related to heat absorb so heat absorb at 270 degree kelvin that is at tl which is given as 1130 kilojoule per minute which is equal to 18.83 kilojoule per second just divided by second that is 1 minute is equal to 60 so divide 1130 by 60 60 we will get 18.83 kilojoule per second and we know that cop is equal to q upon wr so wr work required per second wr is equal to q1 upon cop of refrigerator so which will be equal to 18.83 upon 9 so cop of refrigerator wr is equal to 2.1 kilojoule per second if, the, if this question were asked to determine how many kilojoules of work is required per minute so multiplied by 60 we will get kilojoule per minute and third question is related to again we have to determine cop right but what is the condition if the carnot heat pump operates between the same temperature that is t1 and t2 270 and t2 that is th is 300 so cop of pump is th upon th minus tl so th is 300 upon 300 minus 270 divided by okay which comes to be 10 so cop of heat pump comes to be 10 right so in this way we have to solve numerical based on this so what is the important thing here important thing is cop of refrigerator formula you must know that is tl upon th minus tl cop of heat pump formula you must know that is th upon th minus tl these two formulae seems to be same but what is the difference numerator if you want to calculate cop of refrigerator so lowest temperature tl upon th minus tl and if you want to determine cop of pump so th upon th minus tl and one more important formula that is cop of refrigerator is equal to q1 upon wr right so in this way we will solve numerical thank you thank you very much